In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of the most popular two-story plans with Taylor Morrison Homes right here in McKinney, Texas. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Texas Model Home Tours. Today we're in McKinney, Texas, and we are at the Highland Lakes Community. And we're gonna be showcasing and touring this beautiful home behind me with Taylor Morrison Homes. This is their Laramar floor plan. This is one of their most popular two-story homes that comes in at just under 3,800 square feet with a starting price at just $720,000. Now, you gotta check back with me because prices do change every single week. But base price today starts at 720 to 740, depending on the exterior, what they call elevation. Now, this home has a ton of different structural add-ons, which is exciting because we can show you everything that you can do with this model. So during the tour, I'm gonna point out what are the upgrades and what are the add-ons. Now you gotta check back as far as pricing because those structural add-ons, they do change in price all the time. But guys, let's head inside and let's start this model home tour. You're gonna love it. Hey everybody, welcome inside the Laramar floor plan with Taylor Morrison here in Highland Lakes in McKinney, Texas. Very excited to bring you guys this model home tour because this model checks so many boxes of items, features that so many buyers have been reaching out to us and saying is important to them, such as these super tall ceilings right here. So taking a look at this dining room, beautifully decorated, will pan up to show you just the sheer height there. That is probably 14 or 15 feet in your dining. However, when we step back to the main entrance, this right here is one of the top requests that we get is the two story open ceilings in the entrance and as well in the living area. So can't wait to bring you guys this one. As you can see, we've got the beautiful spiral staircase there, the curved staircase leading you right here to the front entrance of the home. We'll step into the living room and, or the dining room and pan around to the front door here. You'll notice you've got your formal home office study room right off the front and take a look at the size of this home office. They've done such a cool job here. Take a look at the double desk. You know, a lot of people, that's actually one of the, I would say one of the newest requests I've been getting, but I've had it multiple times. So I'm interested to see uh, what future floor plans are gonna start offering a double office or maybe a secondary flex room where people who have two people who work from home can both have offices. The space for a second office has been one of those things in the last year I have been asked for multiple, multiple times. So here we are, man, that dining room, just, you know, the black light fixtures, the mirror in the back, the way that it's staged. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you guys think of that view. Take a look at that. Beautifully set right there in the front of the home. We'll come back to it because we're gonna walk through the butler's pantry when we tour the kitchen. But let's head on and let's get started with our tour. There's so much to show you today. So as I walk you through and show you some of the rooms here in this home, let me just take a quick second to introduce myself. My name is Alex Piak. I'm a local agent here in the Dallas area. And we've been fortunate enough to work with over a dozen different builders and helping our clients buy new construction homes in the last two years. And one of the things we like to do guys is showcase the different builders, the different price points, and give you a good idea of all the different floor plans that are available. As well as while we tour these homes, I'll talk to you a little bit about the neighborhood, the amenities in the area just so you can be a little bit more educated on where we're at, what we're looking at to see. Is this neighborhood something that is a good fit for you? Here we are, we've got, again, when we talk about one of the requests, it is having the second bedroom downstairs on the main level. So this right here, again, in my opinion, is almost a necessity, very quickly becoming a necessity in this market, in this area. 
in this area, this second bedroom downstairs is asked for repeatedly. So having that second bedroom guest suite down here, very, very important. Right outside that, again, that right there is your owner suite. So we'll come back. It does have a direct walkthrough through the utility room. And then here we have a half bath, powder bath for your guests, which is nice. They don't need to go into any of the bedrooms and any of the bathrooms that are being used by a bedroom. There's that nice circular staircase coming down, semi-circle, whatever you wanna call it. But here we have this nice, open, wide entrance. We have plenty of storage, again, being used by the builder, but very important, we always wanna showcase all the storage the home has to offer because guys, we don't have basements, so storage is really important. And then here's the thing that catches so many people's eyes is this right here. When you walk in to your living room, family room, we go right back to the soaring two story ceilings. I love the upper windows because it just brings in a ton of additional natural light. What's important is if you look at this extended patio, and I believe this is a structural add on to go this big, we'll step out there, but look at the size of that. We'll definitely go out there. In order to go that big, now you've got a covered area. So that could restrict some light. But as soon as you put these nice large windows up there, you solve the problem of letting natural light right back into the home. So here you can see Taylor Morrison has designed a beautiful concept, beautiful home here with the Laramar floor plan. Let's kind of move around again. We've got this nice center fireplace. Again, I believe this is a structural add-on if you want to add the fireplace. And then again, if you want to go floor to ceiling with the tile design, that is something you can choose at the design center. And let's swing back around here. I want to show you the double sliding glass doors. Again, this is something that you would decide with the builder. This is a structural change, because if not, you're just gonna have a bank of windows there. I absolutely love this, just because it's all the glass and it's so tall. Can be very expensive, guys. I don't know the exact price here for Taylor Morrison, but I can tell you from my experience, I've seen them priced anywhere from 15 to $21,000. So that's something you gotta consider. How important to you is it to have something like that? You know, we're a big outdoor family. We entertain a lot. You know, if you're gonna put a pool out there or something, cause we do have 60 foot lot options with Taylor Morrison. This property right here that we're looking at is actually one of their 60 foot series homes. So you can get yourself a nice sized yard here. And if you had a nice pool out there or you know you really enjoyed that outdoor living you were going to entertain a lot and use that covered patio it might be a pretty cool feature now you probably got to invest in some screens and stuff for bugs if you're going to keep the door open but again i think that is one of those things you would probably want to seriously consider if you're building now just so you guys know because you're like man that's a very expensive door Many times we are able to negotiate with the builders some incentive money to take with you to the design center. So you're not coming 100% out of pocket. And again, that number is gonna differ all the time. You gotta check back with us on the incentives and discounts because they do change month over month. And it really depends on how hot the market is, how many homes and lots are being sold. I could tell you right now, a lot of the builders, including Taylor Morrison right now in this community, they're really slowing down as far as how many contracts they're willing to accept. Because the buyer demand is so hot right now, it's becoming difficult for builders to keep up. There's only so many construction crews, they can only start so many homes at a time, so they're limiting sales. So if you are interested in what you're seeing, you wanna learn more, you wanna figure out how do I get on a list, very important to reach out, reach out soon because 
we're all, they're only releasing a certain amount of lots and build jobs at any given time. So make sure you reach out. We'll always share with you some tips, tricks on how we can assist you in getting your name called and added to these lists. Here's another view of that, di that dining area. Take a look at those tall ceilings, those the double uh, stacked windows right there, right back to the main entrance of the home. I really love this little walkthrough, your pantry area. You've got your butler's pantry. Showed you guys the storage. Again, nice oversized pantry. Beautiful home, absolutely beautiful. This is checking so many of the boxes. Guys, we get calls all the time from home buyers relocating from, you know, call us from our YouTube channel. And when we ask them what's important to you, it's what we showed you, big pantries, the soaring two-story ceilings, home office, two bedrooms on the main level. Those things are so important and so in demand right now. Here we are, we're in the owner suite now, very large owner suite. You can see how much walking room you have on each side of the bed. This nice bank of windows overlooking the backyard. And again, that covered patio with the extension, lots of sitting room out there. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the community here, Highland Lakes. You are in McKinney, Texas. That's your mailing address. One of the things that makes this community so desirable and the reason it's selling so fast is because it actually services the Prosper Independent School Districts. And if you've been doing any research on schools, some of the top schools in the North Dallas area, you know Prosper consistently, consistently ranks as one of the top schools. So here you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck being in McKinney, but you're getting that top tier school. The other thing with this community is the amenities. You're getting that resort style pool, walking, biking trails. Uh, I believe there's a fitness center coming here. So you're getting incredible amenities for a community. Your price point, your honestly, if we were looking at a home like this in Frisco, could easily be 15% or more uh, on the price point that we're looking at right now. So here again, base prices start at 720 to 730 as of today. Make sure you check back with us because those prices change weekly. But right now, 720 to 730, depending on the different elevations. Now you're gonna go to the design center. You might spend 30 to 40,000 in design center. And when you start looking at structural add-ons, you might do some things like the sliding glass door, the fireplace, the extended patio, uh, the flex living space, they call it there in that dining room, where you could actually push that wall back. I don't know if it's two or three additional feet, but this whole area can get pushed back on this floor plan. And it happens here in the dining area as well in the owner suite. So the depth of those rooms actually get extended as one of the structural add-ons. You can add a fifth bedroom, fourth bathroom option upstairs, which this does have. And again, that is another structural addition that you would make. So budget wise, I'm telling people, you probably are going to be somewhere in the mid eights when you're all said and done with going to the design center and picking out all of your finishes. Here we are right at the very top of the stairs. We've got this bedroom here and this bedroom again is an ensuite. So come down the hallway. We'll show you the bathroom first. Here you've got the tub option, ceramic tile surround, little linen closet. And as we walk back out towards the bedroom, let me show you the walk-in closet for the bedroom. Nice 
size closet wraps all the way around this is a good size closet for sure and this is a really nice sized secondary bedroom so you can see good size bed end tables dresser and you still have plenty of room to walk around so this bedroom is actually kind of separated from the other bedroom so you'll see at the top of the stairs here you've got the open railing system which is really makes it look you know open airy it, and as we spin around here we're gonna go down this hallway you're gonna have another bedroom down here take a look at the size of this room very nice you know a lot of times buyers are asking for larger secondary bedrooms we get that call a lot and for sure, what we're looking at here with Taylor Morrison, they have done an exceptional job with making the secondary bedrooms a good size. So not a lot of useless, wasted, open square footage. Everything here is very well thought out with Taylor Morrison. Now here we've got the Jack and Jill. So this door comes in from the bedroom. We'll move around, you can see another linen closet. And then in order to get into your shower and toilet room, you come through another door. And here it is. And now you'll notice this door, which is going to come from the other bedroom. Now, instead of walking you through, I want to go back through the bedroom so you guys can get a good feel of the floor plan and how you walk through this home. So let's go back down here, back at the main landing of this home. We'll spin around and again this home has everything you could ask for media room game room we're gonna go in there in a second turn to the right and here's that bathroom that's the door we were just in the bathroom is in there your shower toilet area so here's your sink again separated with a door and it is right outside this bedroom this is the only bedroom that does not have a direct access to a bathroom and a lot of people ask why that is and it's because you have the media room and game room up here what the builders done is design it so if you are entertaining and have people up here they can use that bathroom without having to walk through somebody's bedroom again huge walk-in closets guys leave me a comment let me know what do you think about the size of these secondary bedrooms the size of these closets i think you know they're some of the biggest that we've seen especially at this price point now a little bit more about the neighborhood i think it's important to know again you're in mckinney you're getting the best schools with prosper location is great you are minutes away from 380 which is the major east west corridor that's going to bring you directly to highway 75 the dallas north tollway there is all of your shopping options fast food options i mean it is a great great area whole foods is being built on that road um, you know lots of grocery options so you are in a fantastic area good commuter area you're probably 45 minutes or so to the airports and you're probably 45 to 50 minutes to dallas so if you are working down in dallas figure about 45 50 minutes obviously sometimes with traffic maybe a little bit more than that but this is a great great area and i love this game room you know one of the things i tell a lot of my buyers one of the things we could do is you know when we talk to buyers is because we've toured so many homes with so many builders with so many different buyers we really get to share the pros and the cons an unbiased view because we don't work for the builder we actually work for you guys so my job isn't to sell the builder's home my job is to find you the perfect home part of that is telling you you know the good the bad the ugly the truths of the builders the neighborhoods well this right here this room is one i always speak about the game room because so often you will see builders knock this wall down and it will be open to your living room downstairs and while it looks cool what i can tell you is if you've got some 
kids, some teenagers, and they're gonna be up here watching TV, playing foosball, whatever it is, a pool table, or they've got the media room going. If that wall is open with the open railing system, you will get so much of that noise to carry on downstairs. And if you're trying to entertain, you've got some adults downstairs, it can be really distract, distracting. And I'm, and I'm telling you that from my personal, you know, my house is set up like that. So we've got the open game room and man, it's like so much noise comes downstairs. So this is something I tell people, you know, that's a little plus to this floor plan that you might not pick up as a home buyer having not experienced what Texas is with a lot of these open rooms, game rooms, media rooms. So many of my buyers are so surprised that every one of these homes has media rooms, game rooms, and that's pretty standard. Again, when you're building a home here in the DFW area, one of the things is we wanna make sure that you're not overbuilding but you're not underbuilding. You wanna make sure you're putting the right features and amenities into your home that's gonna yield the great return one day in the future whenever you are ready to sell. And again, that's another little value add that we can bring to the table is helping you with those decisions, helping you talk about these structural add-ons, which ones make sense, which ones are worth the money in the long run, which ones are just nice to have, but you're only doing it because you love it, not necessarily because you think it's gonna bring you money. So let's finish up outside. Let me show you this covered patio. Again, so much of our time is spent outdoors here. Guys, if you have any questions about this floor plan or any of the other floor plans, absolutely, let's connect. All my numbers, contact information, everything is down below this video as always. Give me a call. I'd love to share with you more about the Laramore plan and other plans that Taylor Morrison has here in Highland Lakes in McKinney. So here's that great outdoor patio. I'm gonna grab a seat and then uh, take a break before we head out to our next model home. But I appreciate you guys for hanging with me. As always, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We appreciate you guys for subscribing and watching, and we will absolutely catch you on that next model home tour. Take care, everybody.